Hi guys, Chiraka here, and today we're going to go through the basics of cannons. Um, um, cannons. Cannons. Oh, 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 no, no, no. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> Cannons. So, cannons. Well, I can go straight into the wondrous joys of things like diagonal shooting cannon. Yeah. Or vertical shooting cannon. Yeah, but I'm not going to because these two cannons rely on the fundamentals of cannon works. So we're going to go and cut to that. And here we are. I have taken the liberty of setting up a sort of cannon showcase. <laughs> Let us fly. Okay, so here we have two, four, six types of exactly the same cannon. <laughs> um, basically, the cannon pretty much is a flat plane of three blocks across. And then you layer it up one block where you will put the water in at the back here. Um, disregard the fact that there's nothing actually stopping it from going everywhere. As you can see now, there's another layer but there is a nice space. Rain! No! Good. Stay that way. Here is a nice space where you can put the source block and not worry about destroying it. And here's how you cap off the water at the end. Um, I'll explain why it's a half block in a minute or on the other cannons if you notice they're all different kinds of blocks or ladders or trapdoors or whatever. Um, and here we have mystical redstone and some buttons. This button does that, that button does that. Um, it's important to note as well that these are two different lengths and that is because let me get up some TNT. This part here is what's known as the charge. This will charge your shot, which is at the end here, this piece of TNT. It'll charge it and send it flying out into space. Um, so all of this is going to stay nicely in the cannon and explode. This is going to fly out. If you set it off all at the same time, which we will use just this button for. Something very bad happens. You lose your cannon and part of the cannon next to it. So that is what you don't do with a cannon. Let's get out of the way first. Okay, over here we have cannon in case you don't have a half block for whatever reason, it doesn't really work very well. but it kind of does work. Um, you don't have to have it three tiers high. Um, I tend to like it for a sort of stable bottom. It is less likely to explode, but the water should pretty much take care of that. Okay, so we do charge first, shot second. It doesn't fly very far, but it propels it, which can be pretty devastating if there's a person in front of you that you don't like. Not going to name names. Um, so this one. Shoots further. Half block. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fire it again and hopefully fly around fast enough to show you what is actually going on.
probably wasn't fast enough. Basically, because it's a half block, um, when the TNT falls down, it's raised up ever so slightly, so it's not like here, falling down at this height. It's half a block higher. With that elevation, it flies further, as you can see by the differences here. Vast craters of hell. Now this one has a ladder. A ladder is higher than a half block, in case you didn't know. Charge first. Shot second. And I probably went a little bit too soon on that. And <laughs> you can see, it flew even further. So, there's this combination between the amount of charge you have and the spacing of it and the elevation of the shot. Sort of a, a kind of fine line between the two to get your angle right for whatever it is you're trying to aim at. Slightly better. I'm not doing very well at this. Let's try one more time. Please hit the ground. Yeah! I made damage! Pathetic damage, but yeah. It's basically... It's almost equidistant. Slightly. <laughs> um, on how having nothing to a half block to almost a full block. This one is something that's quite fun um, because trapdoors have two settings! Just like a, a quarter block really. So you'd think it wouldn't go very far. Let us find out. See, that is better than nothing. And it's almost as good as a half block. It's kind of cool. What if we flip it up? It goes just as far as the ladder. What's interesting to note here as well is it is possible to make a cannon that practically shoots forever. I will try to make one to show you guys at the end. Um, no promises. <clears throat> so yeah, this is your basic cannon work. All the same kinds of cannon. Um, to make a cannon of this size, one, two, three, four, five, six, at the top, eight, length at the bottom. Um, this is what you need. Okay, this is what you need. 52 stone if you're going to make it 8 long. Um, something to elevate it with, be it the half block, the trap door, the ladder. Um, it would be recommended to use something to elevate it unless you wanted to go a really really short distance and can afford putting water into the ground without it spreading everywhere. Um, bucket of water so that your cannon does not explode. Um, even if you hit it right. 11 redstone for the 8 long base of the cannon. Um, so you don't actually need like that much redstone. I'll show you a smaller cannon in a second. 2 buttons. Um, and a couple bits of TNT. It's not really that demanding, apart from maybe the TNT and, I don't know, redstone, I guess. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty simple. Now, this one is made with considerably less blocks. Whereas this one is 52, this one is something like 36 or, or something. It's over, it's over half, but <laughs> it's still less by a lot. Um, it doesn't work as far. Now, what's interesting with this one is the source block is not hidden. The source block is like right here. 
this block. Um, but because TNT sort of just falls through everything, it does not affect the source block um, when it falls down. So you can fill it all up and light it up to go. If I could hit the button in time! I... Okay, let's try it again. It, it doesn't quite go as far as this one. This fail thing. But it's pretty reliable. It does its, does its job. Um, yeah. Now, this one is something that refers to that there. Um, firstly, let's just show you how it works. That's the source block, so you can't put anything in there. It uses less blocks than this one, um, but at a price. Because once you ignite this one, it goes slightly sideways. Let's see that again. Ever so slightly sideways, because here, there is no block to keep it steady and kind of straight. But that can't block can't be there, because this redstone will power that block. And then your cannon would blow up and it would be really bad. Um... This block is here to power it, um, because if I do this, and put TNT there, TNT there, that will do nothing, and your charge will explode, leaving you with a shot that isn't even live. Guess you would be saving TNT, but at a loss. Um, whereas that works over quite nicely. If not quite straight. Okay, this demonstration just kind of goes over that again. Um, I did not mean to do that. Um, yeah, so redstone going into a block powers the block. So anything touching that will kind of light up. Red's going going next to it like this will not light up the block. Okay, I can even, you know, circle it around. Surround the thing in redstone, if you so wish. Um, that TNT block will not light up. This one will, um, if it goes into or over, so that the top of the block is on the same line as the redstone if they're next to each other um, which is why this cannon goes up like that because aesthetically I just like being able to see the TNT no, the redstone line going over the top rather than just believing that the block is being powered let us test this hypothesis then there you go And then, of course, the explosion ignites the other block. Can be helpful, sometimes not. Anyway, I think that pretty much covers the basics of cannon work. Um, start with the base, layer it up, put your source block in, um, layer it up again. Somehow spawn squid. Um, put in your elevator. And then make sure you have the proper redstone. Charge is always one shorter than your ignition. Okay. Okay, I didn't build it very well, but here is... You, you know, actually, let's make it day. Um, so you can see this better. Um, there we go. This is a melon cannon. I didn't build it very well. It is probably going to explode at the end here um, when I fire it. But 
it is a two layer shot with a I keep wanting to say waffle um, it's all I can think of now it's not a waffle trapdoor <laughs> with a trapdoor at the end so if we light this up Yep, it broke. Okay. Melon cannon take two. This time the button... I probably should hit it. Why is this button working? God damn it! Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to do it here. Um... Cannons I already built that I know work. Okay, it's basically the same um, design as a cannon, apart from it's two a regular cannon, I mean, um, aside from it's two layered and there's additional height on this block, so it kind of works even better. <laughs> or rather, if that button would highlight. Um, let's try it again. I don't know what it is with Minecraft and that button not highlighting. That with vertical cannons, sometimes they don't work. Minecraft multiplayer, or just player in general. Why do you hate me? Okay, let's see this. Woo, there it goes, and it's gone. Um, with cannons like this, <laughs> we've left markers. They go pretty far. This one goes to about this hole here, um, which is a pretty long range for a cannon. Um, yeah, but that was my special treat. Bye bye. Hat goes up. <laughs>